I'm Miracle, and welcome to Storytime. This is our special time to share a story together. Yip, yip, yippee, yay! We are going to share the story from this book, The Tortoise and the Hare. It is an Aesop's fable. It was a story told long ago by a man named Aesop. He had just one name, Aesop. One name just like Nano! <laughs> That's right! This story has great characters. A tortoise, he's here on the cover, and a hare. This is the hare. Now, get your ears ready to listen, get your eyes ready to look, and get your brain ready to wonder. Ready! Let's read The Tortoise and the Hare. There's a special message before the story. Let's read it and see what the author has to tell us. Aesop's Fables. What are Aesop's Fables? Legend tells us that Aesop lived a very long time ago in a place called Greece and became famous for telling stories that were intended to teach lessons about life. We call his stories Aesop's Fables. Oh, so this story is a fable. What's a fable again? That's a story that teaches a lesson. Oh! The Tortoise and the Hare. One day, a hare, a kind of rabbit, was bragging about how fast he could run and laughing at a tortoise, a kind of turtle, for being so slow. <sighs> Look at that hare. I can tell he's bragging. And I think he's saying, I'm so fast, I'm the best. Much to the hare's surprise, the tortoise challenged the hare to a race. Thinking that this was very funny, the hare accepted the challenge. The tortoise and the hare asked their friend, the fox, to judge the race. The race began, and of course, the hare was soon far ahead of the tortoise. Wow, the hare is really fast! Uh-huh! Soon, the hare had reached the halfway point in the race. Because it was a beautiful sunny day, the hare decided to stop running and play a while. He then took a nap in a shady spot. Even if the tortoise passes me while I sleep, thought the hare, I can easily catch up and reach the finish line first. Hmm, <laughs> the hare is taking a nap in the middle of a race? Look, here comes the tortoise. What do you think will happen while the hare is napping? Nano isn't sure! Me either. <laughs> Let's read and find out. The tortoise, meanwhile, kept walking along slowly and steadily toward the finish line. He couldn't run nearly as fast as the hare, but he never stopped to rest or play. While the tortoise continued on, the hare lost track of time and slept longer than he had intended. When the hare woke up, he was surprised that the tortoise was nowhere in sight. I see the tortoise on this page. He is at the top of the hill. See him? Then he is gone. I think he walked over the hill and I think he passed the hare. The hare jumped up and ran off at full speed. <laughs> wow, the hare is working really hard to catch up. I wonder if he'll win the race. What do you think? Yay! It looks like a lot of you think he will. But when the hare reached the finish line, he found that the tortoise was already there, waiting for him. Although the tortoise was much slower than the hare, because the tortoise did not stop to rest, 
He won the race. The end. <laughs> the tortoise won the race. And he even had time to get a cold drink. Did you think that was going to happen? No! It was a soup, soup, super surprise! What's this? There's a special message on the last page. Moral of the story. Slow and steady wins the race. So, the lesson is, if we keep working hard, slow and steady, like the tortoise, we can win at anything. That makes me think about reading. If we practice every single day, we can win by becoming fantastic readers. Yip, 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 yay! Now, would you like to hear the story one more time? Again, again! Let's do it. This time, I'm going to read it straight through without stopping. You can listen to the words and look at the characters in the illustrations. The Tortoise and the Hare One day, a hare, a kind of rabbit, was bragging about how fast he could run and laughing at a tortoise, a kind of turtle, for being so slow. Much to the hare's surprise, the tortoise challenged the hare to a race. Thinking that this was very funny, the hare accepted the challenge. The tortoise and the hare asked their friend, the fox, to judge the race. The race began, and of course, the hare was soon far ahead of the tortoise. Soon, the hare had reached the halfway point in the race. Because it was a beautiful sunny day, the hare decided to stop running and play a while. He then took a nap in a shady spot. Even if the tortoise passes me while I sleep, thought the hare, I can easily catch up and reach the finish line first. The tortoise, meanwhile, kept walking along slowly and steadily toward the finish line. He couldn't run nearly as fast as the hare, but he never stopped to rest or play. While the tortoise continued on, the hare lost track of time and slept longer than he had intended. When the hare woke up, he was surprised that the tortoise was nowhere in sight. The hare jumped up and ran off at full speed. But when the hare reached the finish line, he found that the tortoise was already there waiting for him. Although the tortoise was much slower than the hare, because the tortoise did not stop to rest, he won the race. The end. This book is in the ABC Mouse Library. You can listen to it as many times as you like. You can even make it one of your favorites. Please join me for the next story time, when it's time to share a story again. Bye, bye, bippity, bye! <laughs> ABCMouse.com